first and locks. Now on the Game Change Hub YouTube channel and all audio platforms. Subscribe and hit that bell. Welcome everybody to the First Locks Podcast with your host Rico Locks. BK, how you doing today, BK? Co-host. Doing well, brother. Doing well, man. Hey, man, we'll uh, get into this slate going over week nine of the college football slate. Already Past couple nine. weeks for me have been kind of rough. Uh, but we're going to get on the right track. I did call out some good dogs last week. But other than that, as far as the betting standpoint, it's been a little rough. But we're going to pick it up this week for sure. Uh, BK, what you've what you been doing the past couple weeks? How you been doing? I've been doing well, brother. Been watching my uh, my Yankees dominate the ALCS. Got to get it done in the World Series, though. My Tigers, they're on a bye this week, so I won't get to watch them. But that's all right. We've been playing well. We're 6-1 and one now, so. You know, my Jets are a different story. We'll keep them out of the conversation. Dude, never betting the Jets ever again. <laughs> never again will the, the NFL Jets in general is banned for me for a little bit. I've just lost too much bread on the NFL. Yeah, but uh, anyways, yeah, we had some uh, we had some good dogs that we called out, like Michigan State. That was a good yeah. one. Um, I had Tennessee that I called out. That was a good I was one. opposite. Um, yeah, we had some good dogs, but I also had some bad calls, like Nebraska. That was a bad dog. They got absolutely destroyed. Indiana was it just, really though? Was it really though, or was it Nebraska shooting themselves in the foot because they got in the red zone freaking six times and barely did shit? So yeah, but dude, Indiana's just we. I guess we're just still sleeping on them because well, they, look they got trouble good. now. They're they got trouble now. Rourke's hurt. He's out for really? this week. Yeah, yeah, they got their backup playing. He looked good in the second half though of that game. So I mean, they got hey. Washington coming to town this week. Twelve o'clock yeah. game talk about that um yeah let's get into the games this week starting with the ones tomorrow we got uh syracuse five and one going to number 19 pittsburgh six and oh on the season uh we got Pitt as a yeah it's tomorrow night we got Pitt as the minus six point favorite here what do you think well if this game was in cues i'd be all over them i'll say that much um but with it being in Pitt and like I said to you before we started the show, I mean, Narduzzi's probably the most, excuse me, the second most consistent coach in all of the ACC behind Dabo Sweeney. Um, I trust him. I trust his defenses, especially. His defenses are just unmatched, man. So I expect it to be an ugly game. I expect it to be a sweaty game. But I do think they pull it out um, covering. So I, I'll take Pitt with the points. Okay, I'm going to go the opposite on this one to start the show. I like Syracuse in this game. Um, I think the over-under is interesting here at 62 and a half. Why is it so That's high? so high, especially like for you're a saying, game. Right, Pitt's a good defensive team, right? But why is this total so high? Vegas knows something, I think. And but, with that being said, with that being said, I think Syracuse has the better offense, in my opinion. I think Kyle McCord is the better quarterback. Um, I think they got better receivers. What? You think McCord's the better quarterback? I think he's a little better than Holstein. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, ah, we'll that's it. spicy. That's spicy. I don't know, it's, man. It's, they're they're comparable. Like, they're pretty close. I mean, I think he's a no, little I'm not better, I would say. I'm not saying they're not by any means. You know, they're definitely they're, cl- they're close. Um, but yeah, I just think Syracuse has a little bit better of an offense. Pitt, on the other hand, I mean, they do have a better defense. But who is Pitt really beat that you're like, all right, this team's good? Like, it was Q's they're six and zero. Oh, they're six and zero, oh, but like they've beaten Carolina, West Virginia, like teams that we know aren't that good. Anyways, Syracuse, you're right, hasn't really beaten anybody that impressive either. I mean, they did beat Georgia Tech. That's a decent win. Um, I'll give it to them. I, I don't know, dude. UNLV and NC State. Yeah, I mean that they don't have great wins either, honestly. Yeah. But what I'm getting to is though, I just think they're the better offensive team here. Um, Pitt's got a better run game, but I think in the passing game is where uh, Syracuse is going to have success. And uh, I'm going to go with them with the points. Syracuse with the points, sprinkle the money line. That's what yeah. I'm one thing, do. one thing I definitely say about this game that's probably of note. If if this game becomes a shootout, I'm going to trust Cues because and at the that's end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, if they can make the game sped up to their to their standard, then yeah, I can understand full for like full force why somebody would pick Syracuse. My point of view is I think the Pitt's going to control the game. They're going to control the line of scrimmage. They're going to run the ball a lot. And if Cuse yeah. gets in that situation, it's not going to be the good result for them. Cuse, Cuse is decent against the run, though. Um, yeah. So, 
You're right, though. If if it's it's really up to how the pace of the game is played. But what the over under is indicating to me is that it's going to be a high scoring game. So yeah. high scoring game, I favor Syracuse. So I'm picking Syracuse. Um, moving on, we will go to Louisville. This is a Friday night game. So we'll go to on. Louisville going to Boston College. We got Louisville as the minus seven and a half point favorite going to Boston College. What do you think about this one? I think that's a weird ass line. I do too. Why? Like, it's seven and a half, right? Yeah. That's just odd, bro. Like, there's I no way like, you can explain that to me. Here's what I think about this game. I think that people are kind of rating Boston College a little worse now because they've had some bad losses in the past couple weeks. They lost to Virginia Tech bad, and they lost to Virginia bad. Or they lost to Virginia when they were winning that game. Um, so I think people are kind of down on Boston College now. I think you got to take them with seven and a half at home here. Uh, Louisville coming off a, a physical game. They just went crazy. They got destroyed on defense. 51 points put on them by Miami. So, I mean, I just think Boston College is going to be able to score on this defense. I think it's another I'm, game. At home. I think it's another game extremely similar to the one we just talked about. If Louisville controls the pace of play and they start throwing up points, Boston yeah. College is not going to be able to keep up. But if Boston College can control the line of Fair. scrimmage, run the ball well, then they can make it a game, no doubt. Louisville, yeah. Louisville's defense has got to step up in this game. Um, yeah, I just think Boston College can score points and keep it close. Uh, seven and a half could be too much. I would lean Boston College. I don't know if I would bet this game yet, but that's where I would lean. Yeah, I'm, would I'm six and I'm a half put... the other way. Buy it down a point. No okay. way. Okay. Well, there's two we disagree on to open the show. There we go. Yeah. Um, next, we got Boise State going to UNLV. Boise State, the number or the number 17 team in the nation, minus three point favorite in this game. What do you think about this one? Late I night think game. Vegas is begging people to take Boise State. And as too. much as I, as much as like the better in me wants to take UNLV. I can't, dude. There's no way anybody can sit here and convince me to take a team playing Ashton Genty right now. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Oregon for multiple quarters. You're not going to sit there and try and convince me that a team that lost to Syracuse is about to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Like, I, I can't. Like, I want I, I want to say UNLV is going to be able to make it a track race, and you're going to see a crap ton of points is what I would probably predict. but. Um. Yeah, Genty is just so hard to bet against, and it's so crazy that you're sitting here talking about one player controlling a game like that. At that, I mean, the dude averages like 150 yards a game and at least two touchdowns. Un if he keeps it's up, not, how does he, if he keeps up, how does he not win the Heisman? Like I don't because understand. he's at a group of five. Like, I know, that's but literally like, the only reason at, at and this I, rate, I'm though, with you. dude. Right at this rate, you gotta give it. If he breaks these records, bro, you gotta give it to him. He's the gonna, only if he breaks Barry Sanders' record, you, I feel like you got to give it to him, in my opinion. But the only player and that was, I have a ticket on him, I'll, I'm biased. Sorry, <laughs> I also have the Heisman ticket on him. So the only I'm player not. that's similar to him in his situation right now was TCU's uh, Ladanian Tomlinson back when he was there. You know, he was a 2,000 mm -hmm. yard all purpose guy. I mean, I think he had like 30 plus touchdowns. He was an animal that year, and I think he finished fifth in the Heisman. Like, there's no way you can just disrespect this guy this much. He is standing like Michael Myers at freaking running field. back. Bro, this that is shit crazy. is creepy as hell. He's just, like, standing like a stone wall. And then when they say hi, then he makes his move. That's he's he's an animal, bro. And that, dude, both these offenses are scoring 46, Boise State 46.8 and UNLV 43.6 points per game. Two high-powered offenses. Yeah. Um, total set at 64, high for a reason. Um, but I Boise mean, State's defense is better, right? Just as just yeah, they are a smidge better. Uh, UNLV is better at stopping the run a little bit by about a yard, it looks like. And then passing wise, they're both bad. Pass defense, yeah. I will say, UNLV, I do like their quarterback. I like that Malik Williams guy. Uh, yeah, he can, he can run and throw. Yeah, um, UNLV at home, I mean, versus a ranked team. Normally, yeah, this is a bet that I would be all over the home team. That Don't they dog. play in the Raiders stadium sometimes? I, I want to say so. Yeah. Hey, you guys, yeah, guys playing at Legion, one yeah. quick second. Just to, to cap the capper, just quick question. Wide receivers in, in this game, if you're telling me that the pass 
uh, pass rush and pass defense is, is is trash, and we have big points going on the, on the board. The wide receivers are going to score touchdowns. What do we got? Well, JT is going to be like minus 6,000 to score. It's one touchdown. So he might <laughs> score two or three, but that's still going to be minus money. And he's like, talking wideouts, man. I wide can't. Out, yeah, parlay wide a guy, you know, for sure. Like, if we know it's going to be high points, then I'll take a parlay and a minus 300 touchdown because you know it's going to hit. Like, I'm yeah. down. But Jinty's like minus 300 for like three touchdowns, I bet you. Like, it's probably two. His two touchdowns is probably like five. That's crazy. That's it's crazy. so wild, bro. It's like, wild, he's insane. Dude. Um, his Genty to score anytime TD is uh minus 1,150. Uh, him to score two is 250, and then him to score three is plus one 155. Him as the first TD score though is 190, which is interesting. I will say if that. you want to, if you want to sprinkle a Boise State receiver, maybe Camper. I'm looking yeah. through their, their, their game logs, that's looks like their most targeted and receiver and who's gotten the most touchdowns but, i'll tell you uh, yeah, I i'll tell know. you Gente, our, like you said like you might as well take gene t for two or three if you want to feel confident you know that's gonna hit i mean there is it's one on you and lv i will i will point out that's for sure uh ricky white is an absolute animal uh, yeah he he's definitely worth you know trying to do a proper two with ricky uh, white his, is an animal yeah. yeah his receiving yards for the game is 100.5 and that's at minus 114 like that just shows you what this guy he, does he scored a touchdown in what i'm looking right now he scored a touchdown in like what five out of seven games it looks yeah. like yeah five out of and yeah six out of seven yeah, five if you out were seven, to do five. ricky and white what's the touchdown at right now minus 220 if you were to take him to get 60 yards and to take him to get an anytime TD, that is plus 145. That's a that's, good play right there. That's I a good play. Bet. Bet. Yeah. But like we were getting back to with the game, though, like it usually this is a spot where I would take a home dog. But, man, I can't go against it's so GT, hard, dude. bro. He's I feel like he's just going to run all over this yeah. defense. Yeah, I, I know their defense is good against the run, but. Even out of the backfield, catching the ball, like dude, he he's just gonna, he's just an animal. I don't, I don't know how they stop him. Uh, yeah, I gotta go Boise State. Yeah, me here. too. So, gotta, I gotta rock with it. And honestly, if I'm probably gonna bet it, which I probably am, because I mean, I like watching Genty play, so I, I like to have a little bit of skin on it when he does. But uh, I'll probably take it up to six and a half and take it for a touchdown. Be a greedy little fool. So, there you go. And we'll move on to the next. Uh, we got Rutgers. Four and three going into mm. Southern California, USC, as uh, the thirteen point underdog in this game. Uh, we got USC at three and four this year, man. Wow, very uh, underwhelming. <sighs> thought, thought this team would be a lot better than what they are. Uh, yeah, what you think about this game? Thirteen and a half point. I mean, at home in this one. I'm gonna say you got to feel like they get right, but yeah, I think they're a way better offense, but. Rutgers has a better run game, I would say. Rutgers has a better run game and a better line of scrimmage. Their O-line's better and their D-line's better. But Fair. I feel like USC has more to lose. I, I just feel like they have so much to lose in this game. Like, if they lose this game, bro, Lincoln Riley's going to be having to answer some damn questions. Like, there's no way you go three and five in your first year. All in the three big straight game. games, too, losing yeah. to Minnesota, then losing to Maryland at Maryland. And, you, and, and losing all of them by a combined – 21 points three games yep. by a combined 21 points they lost every single game by a touchdown that is Shit, even the, even the one to michigan they lost by three so yeah you want to include that that's 24 points and i mean all losses. one possession game losses it's insanity that's rough yeah and this game though you got i feel like they get right i don't know if they cover this number maybe buy it down but uh i got i gotta think miller moss and usc gets right in this game for you know at home yeah late night game Rutgers going all the way to the West Coast. Um, Which they've the done game. like twice. They just did it with UCLA. I, th I think I think they just played no, UCLA. No, UCLA came to them. They went they, there. That's right. You're right. UCLA, UCLA beat them, and that's a bad loss for Rutgers. <laughs> I just think Rutgers is a little bit on the downturn right now. So is USC, though. Fair, fair to be said there. But I just got to go with them here at home. For me. Uh, I think they get right. For me, I'll give, it, I'll give you the play that if I was to take this game as a better, which I'm probably not, I'm probably just going to sprinkle the one person I'm going to say. 
I would probably take USC down to and nine Woody and Mark. a half and give me Kyle Manungai for any time touchdown. Or you could throw Woody Marks in there. Woody US. Marks in there as well if you want to get if you want to get fun with it for sure. Go all USC. That would be a good plus money. Manungai right is gonna get 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 in the damn end zone. I could probably got you three that. last week. Yeah, yeah, he's an animal, bro. Like, yeah, him, I love him. Him Marks and USC down to like what? If you can get him down to seven, maybe, or if you want to just take money line, whatever you know that what? parlay would be. Go ahead and talk. You know, for a few more seconds here, and I'll 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 see what we're working with. Yeah, we'll move on to the Saturday games, and I'll kick it off. Uh, we got my North Carolina Tar Heels oh, going God, into Virginia. And uh, UNC is the four-point underdog in this game, coming in at three and four against a Virginia team who is four and three. I had their under win, so I really need UNC to win this game bad, honestly, which it's not <laughs> looking good for that. I can't trust this team for shit, man. Um, yeah, what I think about this game is, personally – I think UNC is going to win this game. I really do. UVA has has owned us in the past few years. I feel like I, this is crazy to say, but I feel like Mac Brown is going to get them ready for this game. As bad as he's been, and as much as I want him gone, I think the boys will be ready for this game. Oh boy, this it's crazy is to say, and I, I I don't even know if I'll bet this game. Probably won't, but I think UNC is going to upset Virginia in Virginia. Give me the Tar Heels plus four and money line. That's what I think we're going to be able to run the ball on this Virginia defense. I think the quarterback – is it going to be Criswell? I think it will be Criswell. I just think uh, as long as we can stop them, which could be a problem, I don't know. I think the line is sketchy too, but I'm going to go UNC. I'm saying it now. Hey, 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 Clemson, stop trying to big brother him, man. Stop trying to big brother him. Every time he brings up North Carolina, because because your, your Clemson team's doing well. You, you, you yeah, you know in. we're a basketball team. It's already school. bad enough I'm being a to... UNT fan. I mean. Oh, damn. A football fan, damn. not basketball. Basketball is a different story. We oh, want damn. Than basketball. Yeah, I'm just about to drop it on you. All right. I'll say this much. I'll say this much. If you place a wager on them and you send it to me, the very next pod, you're going to get a reel made by Cal with the <laughs> Gordon Ramsay shit saying, I'm an idiot sandwich. And he's gonna... <laughs> I'm letting you or know I need, now. If you openly one say you're going to bet them, I mean, I'm not hey. saying, I did say. I, I know, not, I know, I know. Yeah, but if I don't do know yet. It, if you do place it, just letting y'all know that's going to be a reel to follow. I don't me. think I I'm an do idiot it, sandwich. I'm like, I'm like one in three or two in three on UNC. No, I won on Minnesota. Who else did I Lost bet on? on Pitt. Lost we already pit. got a, a real locked and loaded. Oh. oh, lost on yeah. I only won on Minnesota so far this year. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the very Every first. Other, game I bet year. against them versus Duke. I had them up twenty to zero. We lose. Yeah. Had them versus Pittsburgh. <laughs> lost. I did not bet it. So one and two, one and two on UNC games. Cause I didn't bet them versus Georgia Tech. I even said Georgia Tech on the podcast. Yeah, you did. Um. Anyways, yeah, I'm going with UNC in this game. Fuck it. Go ahead. All right. Uh, before I give this one, that that lay we were just talking about, Woody Marks, Kyle Manungai, USC, minus six and a half, plus 171. Give me that. Um, I like that. Um, but, yeah, that's definitely going to be a lay I'm going to put in on, on, on Friday night. That's a nice one. I like lay. that. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah I, I, I liked what I saw at UVA last week versus Clemson. They were gritty, uh, a lot more gritty than what I expect them to be. Of course, this is why I tell people openly – I am not taking Clemson's spread because what Clemson has done since Dabo Sweeney has got there is they get up by a lot of points. We were up 41 to 10. They did not score a single point after halftime until we put in our freaking third string. And our third string proceeded to give up 20 damn points. And the game ended 49, the freaking, what was it, 31? Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah, don't check. don't ever bet Clemson spreads. This is your example. 48 31. Yeah, 48 31. This is your example of this because I'm telling you openly as a fan, he, he's going to play the backups and it's going to get ugly from that point because I mean, you're giving those young guys experience, which I love because if we have people that go down, it helps. Um, but I did like what I saw from Virginia, man. They fought their backup quarterback was a dog. I mean, granted, he's playing third stringers, but. I mean, it's not like there's much difference from Clemson third stringers and UNC's defense. So, I'm... <laughs> unfortunately, I can't argue with that because it is that fucking bad, dude. Like, 
How I still don't understand. We're playing Georgia Tech. We're tied in the what fourth quarter? What 10, 15 seconds to go in the game? This quarterback. And then you give up a seventy-yard inside zone run. (laughs) We have a quarterback for Georgia Tech, who's their second-string quarterback, their backup quarterback, comes in the game, has thrown two passes all year. So all like just stop the run. That's all you got to do. We let the running back run right up the middle for like a (laughs) seventy-yard touchdown. I was like, dude, this just sums up UNC football. Yeah, as a whole. I, yeah, I'm give me UVA though. On that note, so. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going with the Tar Heels still. Fuck it. All I right, think. Uh, I think. I think we pull the upset. I think the number is weird. I think why only minus four? We've been so bad. Why are we only <laughs> plus four? That's another. That's another thing I don't get about that. So uh, I'm gonna go UNC. I'm an idiot. I don't know if I'll get to the window with it. <laughs> so stop with the idiot sandwich. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to Georgia Tech, going to Virginia Tech. We got Georgia Tech as a 10 point underdog going to Virginia Tech. That's interesting. Is it because of the backup? Underdog? Yeah, I think Haynes King is still probably out. I haven't checked the injury report yet. Let me check now. Well, you well, go ahead and yeah, tell me what say, you think. Um, I don't know, man. I did say I was going to trust VT the last time because of their defense when they played BC. Totally two different teams. Let me point out that point. But, uh, I don't know, bro. That's that's a lot of freaking points versus two high-powered offenses. I know Haynes probably banged up, might not play, might play. We're trying to figure that out. Um, but even still, dude, there's they still got a running back named Haynes that does he, he, work too. He's doubtful. Upper body injury and is unlikely to take the field. That's what it says. Yeah. I'm going to go uh, – go ahead. Ha. I, know what, I know what I'm doing in this game. That's a lot of points. I know it is, but I think Virginia Tech started the year really rough and yeah. underperformed. I think now they're start. I think they're going to start the way they looked versus BC, bro. In that first half, dude, they were rolling. I was yeah. like, holy shit, uh, yeah, because I had BC in that game, and I don't know why. Me too. At the end of the day, so I was like, yeah, that was a bad pick. I just think taking maybe take them first half in this one. I just think. Going against them at home, I, I can't do it. I like the way they're starting to pick up momentum on the offensive side. They, Tuttle looked really good. He did. Uh, Drones was running the ball good, throwing the ball good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Virginia Tech to cover the spread. Uh, I would buy them down. Maybe, maybe that could be my lay piece. Buy them down to six and a half. If that, if, probably, are you are you are you confirming? Not confirming yet. That could right. be though. I'll get it ready so, just in case. I, I like I like Virginia Tech in this game. I agree, though. It is a lot of points. I do think it is a lot of points, but there's a reason for that, I think. Uh, I think they'll win by this game by two touchdowns or more. Damn. So I'm going to go Virginia Tech. Uh, moving on to the next game. We got Washington, 4-3, and three, going into number 13, Indiana, at 7-0. and oh. We got yep. Indiana as the minus 6.5 point favorite in this game. What you got? I mean, we said about it at the end of the day, it's going to be a matter of how this backup plays because I can tell you right now, Rourke threw the ball a shit ton for Indiana. I mean, he was one of the reasons yeah. why they've been performing the way they've been performing. So it's kind of it's kind of like, are weird, they going to finally slip up? Uh, da, da, that's uh, a weird number, too. Yeah, yeah. I think the number's factoring in. You're really telling me good. Washington's better than Nebraska? I don't think so. I, don't I think know. Nebraska beats them, um, in my opinion. Um, I don't know, man. I, I lean Washington with the points. It's how I lean in this game. Uh, I hear you. I just think it's a low. I think it's a little low. Maybe they may. I don't. I'm not going to bet this game probably because I don't want to fade Indiana right now again. <laughs> Yeah, they just burned me last. I, week, I was bro. about to say I'm they killed like home. three of my lays, bro. That shit was so rough. And literally, if Rutgers were one, I would have probably made stupid bread. But we won't talk. About yeah. It. So I would, I would, I would go Washington though if I had to pick this game though. I think their, I think their offense will keep them in this game. Um, got a decent defense too. Both teams have decent defenses. So yeah, yeah. I like Washington. I hear you. I hear you. Um, 
It burned me last week not to take Indiana, so I'm going to rock with Indiana because, I mean, they spit in my face. So, I mean, right. I, I, I ain't trying to get spat in my face twice. That's not funny. like Like we said, though, you don't have to bet. We don't have to bet this game. We're just giving no, you a pick. No, no, no. We're just giving you what we think. Um, moving on, we even want to talk about Nebraska going to Ohio State. I mean, I'm not talking about it. No, no, not 25 no 25 and a half. Yeah, no. Crazy. That's a steep ass number, but even still, I don't think Nebraska is going to put up a fight. Ohio State's going to stomp them. Does, does Nebraska get steamrolled two weeks in a row, bro? I yeah. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Go look for some anytime touchdowns in that game, though. Jeremiah Smith might be an interesting one. Abuka, um, the running Nebraska, back. Yeah, Nebraska's offense just looked lost, bro. Riola looked like he was trying Would to you do say something. Ohio State's a parlay piece? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know they're what you're minus gonna... five thousand probably. Yeah, I'm about to say, bro, like that. They're like minus so five thousand. They're a minus twenty five and a half point favorite. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, even they're parlay. minus four thousand five hundred. <laughs> yeah, that's not even parlayable. Unfortunately, Ooh, these anytime touchdowns are beautiful though. Quinshawn Juckins minus one eighty. Jeremiah Smith minus one seventy. Ibuka minus one twenty five. Henderson minus one forty. The problem with Ohio State, though, is they have so many freaking weapons, you don't know which one I'm going to score. Yeah, or all of them. <laughs> yeah, or all of them. Just my goddamn score. Sprinkle yeah. all of them in a parlay together. <laughs> <laughs> but the total uh, is low at 48, so I don't know. I would be careful with the touchdowns. I would maybe pick one. one yeah, two. if it was me and I was picking one, I'd probably go Jeremiah. That's just probably because he's the most explosive freshman in the nation, so. All right, moving on because I don't want to talk about 20 point spreads really. Moving on, we got Navy or we got Notre Dame yeah. six and one going to Navy. Two ranked teams, Navy six and zero oh on the season. Been pretty impressive. As you know, this team is just a run heavy team, or yeah, yeah. run heavy team, just like Army. Army and Navy both do the same shit. Still um, options. Oh yeah. So what do you think about this one? Nate Notre Dame, a 13 point favorite going to Navy. You know. Playing in MetLife. The playing in MetLife. That's playing interesting. In MetLife. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, I did not know that. Um yeah, in MetLife. I've liked what I've seen out of Navy. You know, they're more pure wishbone um and and pistol option team. They've been running a lot of spread and running like midline options and shit out of that. Like last week, did they play ECU last week, Navy? No, they played Charlotte 151 the, to 17. The week before they played. Uh, ECU. Uh, no, that was that was Army. You're thinking that was of. Army. Damn, I'm trying to Navy, remember. Navy played. Yeah. Regardless, I can't remember who Navy was playing at the time. I was watching it. They they literally optioned out of a pistol formation, went to a spread, and then ran a meet a midline read option, and the quarterback went 90 freaking yards for a touchdown. Like <laughs> unbelievable. I was like, bro, what in hell do you even do with that? Because I mean, at that point, you're expecting them to run the sweep because they're right. doing, they're pulling the wide receiver with him. So the yeah. whole entire defense just goes that way, and the quarterback just shoots that, that hole way. right here. Yep. Yeah, yeah, just shoots the hole, and then he's gone. Like, but that being said, yeah, give me Notre Dame with the points. They're gonna freaking kill them. Um, <laughs> I, I honestly think that this this should be a lot higher. It's going to be a very slow paced game with so much running, but I I prefer Notre Dame's. Overall talent over Navy just having a good year. Yeah, that's, I, I, that's I think where I'm at. I'm gonna have to agree with you on this one. I was leaning Navy originally, but I just think Notre Dame is just another level. Like you said, another yeah. level of talent. Um, they know what Navy's gonna do. Yeah. Um, they play them coach, almost every year too. Right, right. And Freeman's a good coach, man. Yeah, I got to go with Notre Dame here. I don't see, I got to, I think they roll by at least two touchdowns at right at that spread. Could be sketchy on the spread, I think, but ultimately that would be my pick. I think they win by 14 or more. So, yeah, give me Notre Dame. I like Riley Leonard. Um, they got to keep winning too. So, give me Notre Dame. We will move on to the next one. We got. That's notable of talking about. I'm not going to go over every game now because, you know, some of them I don't even want to mention on here. Like, I don't want to talk reason. about Temple. I don't want to talk about Temple and ECU. Like, I'm good. Um, no. <laughs> Northwestern and Iowa. Like, I don't want to talk about that. 
Give me a um, give me the three thirty game that we were talking about earlier. You'll see it coming up on some three thirty games. Oh, excuse me, coming up on some three thirty games. I like. Uh, let's talk about this one. Illinois going into Oregon. Not Not the one I was thinking, but I'll take it. (laughs) We got number 20, Illinois, 6-1, and going to number one, Oregon, 7-0. and Mm. Keep wanting to burp, but can't. Um, He's got that indigestion. (laughs) Oregon, the minus 21-point favorite in this game. What do you think? I think that's a lot of damn points, but it's Oregon. In Oregon, you know, doing what they're supposed to do. Dan Lanning's probably one of the smartest coaches in this country. I've never seen anything like I've seen with that. 12 men on the field versus Ohio State. That was insanity. That the was dude genius. did that on purpose. Like, I was genius. like, I've never seen that. And now that they're about smart. to make a rule for it. Um, Yeah. If it was me, I'd probably take it down to 13 and a half and use it as a lay piece. I don't think it'd be, like, too juicy to do that. Yeah, 13 and a half is 280. That's a solid late piece. I definitely think they beat them by two scores. Yeah, I would lean that way as well. I don't think Illinois is ready for that. Um, it's just Illinois too much to take. Coming off a win versus Michigan, too. They were hype about that. I don't know. I just think I just think Oregon's going to roll. Don't they play for some trophy? The iron that? boot or some shit like that? Or is that Ohio State? I'm about to get yelled at by big team people. I don't care. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't even know to, if I'm being honest. It's like the iron know. boot or some freaking weird shit. I, I don't know. Don't care. Big let's 10 go, boring football. Let's go over the next one that I know that you wanted to talk about. We got number 11 BYU 7-0 and going into UCF 3-4 uh, and four on the year. But we have UCF. The minus two point favorite. What in the sketchy line is this? What do you think? I I think it's the weirdest, most unexplainable line on the slate. There's no way anybody can explain this to me. Besides BYU, the game at home, I don't care where they've the lost at. four straight games too. Four straight, and they're and they're starting a 17 year old at quarterback. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Like, I just purely don't understand. But, I mean, regardless of the fact of the matter is, I'm going to take BYU. I took them last week. They did their thing. Love them to death. You know, so I'll, I'll rock with BYU and keep it simple. Yeah, man, I, I do like Rhett's laugh. Um, this is a game for me that I got to decide the day of and look where the line moves because it's so close. Um. But off rip, dude. I don't know. I think I gotta go UCF. Just strictly based off the line. We both just said it. It's so weird. It just seems like a gift to take BYU here. Yeah. I think I, I think UCF is a it can run the ball really good. I mean, dude, that back or the backup quarterback for KJ Jefferson, the guy you said he was playing, the 17 year old, he ran all over Iowa State. So yeah. did RJ Harvey. They ran all over Iowa State, who I thought was a good defense. Um, I rated pretty highly. So I just think this line is telling, bro. It's we both said you said brought the game up and told me you're like, yo, what is this line? And I've already I was already looking at this game. Um, I just think UCF has got to be the, it's got to be them or nobody to me, man. Um, I think that stadium is going to be rocking down in Florida. Um, I know they're not the better team. It's strictly for me a, a line play, but like I said, it's a game I would decide if I'm betting the day of. Damn. So I think UCF can win this game at home. Uh, Red Slap is a good quarterback. BYU does scare me. But one thing about BYU, and I've always said this, if you're going to bet a bit, bet against BYU, it's got to be on the road. And that's where I'm going to do it. Give me UCF as a two-point favorite in this one. I hear you. Uh, Next, we got Texas going to Vanderbilt, which Vanderbilt is ranked now 25th in the nation. I don't think we've ever said that in our lifetime. What in the hell? That's crazy, <laughs> right? They've been so bad for so many years. Yeah. So that was a freaking – even when I was a kid, they were bad. They've been bad yeah. forever since I've been alive. The last even time they were that. good was when uh, James Franklin was their coach, and they weren't even that good then. Oh, speaking of something, 
Speaking of something outside of the slate, Liberty is still tied with freaking Kennesaw State, and it's 14 and to 14. State's driving. And Kennesaw and they're on, State's yeah, driving. They're on Liberty's 23 right now. Uh, All right, Rico, here comes the question. Do I cash the future out, boys? Like for real, oh. they're off. They're only offering me like two eighty though. But and that, would you and, and you'd lose like hundred? You say four hundred? So you'd lose a hundred. Hundred and twenty. Ow! Ow! It's like, do I just wait? Like, if they I lose definitely this game, think they make- if, if I but if they lose this game, dude, that's that's it's going to like a hundred bucks. Like, I'm gonna get like I'm gonna lose like three hundred dollars if they lose um. this game. I definitely think they make the Conference USA title game, so I would just ride. I don't see yeah. a world where they don't make the conference title game, and then at then you're you, you know you're probably looking at a higher cash out. You can weigh your options on you know who they're playing, whether it be Western Kennesaw or whoever you know. Dude, I cannot That's believe what I would do. They're struggling with Kennesaw State right the now. The worst FBS team in the country, by the way. Like that mind. is insane. They are now on Liberty's eight. Bro. <laughs> Anyway, insane. All right, yeah. Let's finish out this slate, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, fourth. They're about to kick a field goal. Anyways, um, yeah, let's finish out this slate. Um, we got next. Oh, Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt in Texas. We didn't even pick anything. We just yeah, talked yeah. about it for two we seconds. Talked about that game. Anyways, yeah, we got Vanderbilt at home versus Texas, coming off a bad loss versus Georgia, which I had Texas in that game, and that was not a, looking back on it. That's that's a pick where I would normally take Georgia too. So just been off the past couple weeks. Like that's a game where I normally would have picked Georgia, like strictly yeah. based off the line and just knowing Texas, like they didn't look that even great versus Oklahoma. Like no. I should have just known that it was a set up spot for them to lose. And Kirby smart dude is just another level of coach. Than when Stark he doesn't did. play Alabama, he wins. That's pretty right. much how it goes. Right, like, Ajen. so um, that was that would have been free plus money. Should have took that. But anyways, in this game, Texas is a minus 18 and a half point favorite. What do you think? <laughs> coverable for Vandy or nah? I definitely think it's coverable for Vandy because Vandy's just played up to their opponents so well. But if it's me, I'm just – it's another spot where I'm like take Texas down to like 13 and a half and use it as a lay piece like because that's the only thing I'm about to do with this game. Um, right. I, I don't – trust texas to cover their o-line's been really shaky bro like their o-line look awful versus oklahoma at times and versus georgia pretty much the whole game um just got obliterated up front um yeah just like i said texas at like 13 and a half as a lay spot that's about all i'm giving this game it's tough Cause I just think Vandy's just a gritty team, man. I like their I like their quarterback too, pa- Paiva. Paiva. I just like I just like this team. Um, as much as I want to take them with the points, uh, yeah, I would have to lean Texas as well. I think Texas probably rolls. I mean, you could take um, Vandy up to three touchdowns, you know, twenty one and a half, do something like that. So I mean, that's good. an option as well. Tricky. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I, this is not a bettable, bettable game for me, but I would lean Texas. Uh, next, we got. I don't even want to talk about Miami, Florida State. We already know what's about to happen there, unless Florida Smack. State pulls off a freaking miracle. Smack. Oh God, here we go. We're to the game that these two teams are <laughs> on my on my freaking band list. We got West Virginia. Oh. West Virginia three and four going into Arizona three and four. I'm gonna try it again this week. Piss me off. Lost me. Try it again this week. Wait for it. Wait for it. Arizona minus three and a half. (laughs) What do you think though? First, no. All right, all right, all right. right. Yeah, give me three and a half point. Zona. Give me Zona and the boys. I mean, you know, I feel like they have the better quarterback, better, you know, better all around team. It's going to be a gun show. You're going to see a crap ton of points. Yeah, why is, the over ton under of only at 50, why is the over-under only at 53? It should be at like 70, bro. Right. <laughs> it should be like 60, 70. Maybe just take the over. I might, maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, I might just take it down to like 48 and just rock. Like Because even then, like 48 is not going to be that much of a difference. I'm talking a lot of alt lines, but I mean, you'll find that I do that a lot. Some people hate it. Some people understand it. Yeah, at 50 is minus 164. That's not even that juicy. 49 and a half is one, uh, minus 178. 
these are good, you know, lay spots that I definitely yeah. would be looking at this weekend. Because I run a lot of lays. I don't sell picks. I've said that openly. I don't I don't sell picks. You know, I just, you know, talk ball, bet myself. So yeah. In this game, man, gosh, it's so hard because I I can't stand either of these Go teams. Ahead, do I'm it. being honest. Do it. Country roll. No. Oh, God, I don't even know if I'm do it. <laughs> nah, dude. Oh, God, it's so tough. Uh, with the spread the way it is, though, no, okay. yeah, I would probably still still go West Virginia. I'm not betting this game. Country road. <laughs> Absolutely freaking not betting this game. But West Virginia. I think plus 180 or whatever they're going to be. I think it's I plus think 134. 134. See, like that's not even good enough for me to want to bet them. <laughs> But like, mama. <laughs> I would still lean that way. I think I, I, I kind of disagree with what you said about better quarterback. I'm not really sold on Fafita, man. He's not really been Fafita's as good arms as better than Green's, though. Green, yeah. He, Green's a better runner, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll agree. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Tough game. Uh, I just think they're both shitty. They're both equally <laughs> shitty. So you're going to give me the, let. I guess. Oh, they're both shitty. So I mean, I'm take the underdog. Just that's why they they, they piss me off. So I'm going West Virginia Mama, in that game. Not betting it though. Done Country with that team. Roads. Fuck them. <laughs> Cost me thousands this year already on parlays mostly. But the one right anyway. below them, and that's another Big Twelve game. Is pretty interesting, man. This Utah yeah. Houston game. This minus three and a half for Utah. That's a weird ass line versus a two five Houston. Houston team. Yep. Uh, we got Utah going going on the road to Houston. Utah minus three and a half. What do you think? Zach Wilson's brother, right? Quarterback. Isaac. I Isaac finally Wilson. figured out his name. Last last podcast, I didn't know his name. Yeah, it's Isaac Wilson. Um, Scored seven points versus TCU at home. Wow, that's bad. Well, that was also rising. Rising through three picks in that game. No, nah, Wilson played last game. Yeah. Did they just play bad two weeks they in a row then? Yeah, they lost to, ah. they lost to Arizona State and then TCU the That's last That's right. That's who it was that rising through the three picks against. It was Wilson it was, didn't I mean he was 17 for 33 with 199 yards and a touchdown. I mean that sounds an like a Zach Wilson line anyway. With, um, a, with a pick too. So yeah. yeah. Definitely sounds like his brother's lines. Anyway. He, had 11, he had 11 rushes for 11 yards. No, that's terrible. Um Houston's fuck is bad though on offense. Man. I just feel like Utah's going to control the line of scrimmage. They've had two bad games in a row. They're going to bounce back. Yeah, give me give me Utah. That's that's pretty much the only like the this only is a game where I got to see. This is another game where I got to see the day of where the line moves. But yeah, I mean, God, I don't know. I I kind of lean Houston just because the line is so funny. I hear you. Keep it simple. Yeah, I'm not going to bet this game crazy. probably, though. Yeah. Next, we got Michigan State going to Michigan. <laughs> and uh, we got Michigan only a oh my God. four point favorite versus Michigan State. Can I Earlier this season, this line would have been like minus 17, minus 20 almost, probably. Can I just take the moment to tell all of Big Blue Nation that I was right? We I was right. right. Well, we you were, were right, right too. You said eight yeah. five. Uh, you said eight, eight four, four seven five. Seven, same shit. Yeah. 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 No, dude. Y'all are abysmal. Your team is done. You probably won't see another Big Ten title for the next twenty freaking years. <laughs> I mean, like, bro, they're bad. Like, bad, bad. If you're only averaging, what was it, a hundred and sixty, a hundred seventy yards a game in offense. Freaking Army's quarterback has they more cannot. touchdowns than their whole team combined. They're a one-dimensional offense, too. All they do is run the ball, and they're not even doing that good this year. And they can't because they get into situations where they have to pass the ball. You can't run the ball when you're down in, in the game already. 100, like, 129th in the nation in passing yards at 128. <sighs> That's just rough. Um, I'm calling Michigan State. Fuck it. <sighs> I want underdog. you because of Childs. I, you know, I, you know, I freaking love him, man. Like I, I've, I said openly when I watched their first game versus I just FAU. Can't trust Michigan's offense, dude. Like I'm not gonna put my, I got to get their, their home and stuff, but I just can't put my money. That's where I'm offense. struggling. I know Michigan's gonna control the line of scrimmage, and I know 
Michigan's in the big house, but this is two times in a row that I've said this, and it's two times in a row that they've shit themselves when I've said this. So at this point, prove me wrong. Give me the Spartans. Right. That's how I think. We just won with the Spartans last week as a dog. Amen. Why not roll? Versus a better back? Iowa team. So I'll put it that. That's yeah. sad to say out loud, too. You're worse than freaking Iowa. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go Michigan State. I don't know if I'm going to bet it yet, but that's where I'm leaning right now. Um, next, we got that, that Yankees gear makes you real mean, man. That Yankees gear. He's an angry Yankee. He's channeling that angry, that angry, <laughs> man. The, the angry right. sorry, Bronx sorry, people. Sorry, sorry, the sorry, angry sorry. Yankee people, man. Yeah. It's the but, empire uh, in me. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> he's feeling confident. He's feeling confident about this World Series. Let me tell you that. It's time. It's time. It's been 15 years, brother. It's time. And when we get one, we get multiple. So I'm ready to oh, see a couple God, more in the next that. couple years. Stop that. Anyway, <laughs> we got Penn State going to Wisconsin, the number three team in the nation, Penn State, 6-0, and minus 6.5-point favorite at Wisconsin. We talked about this one earlier before the podcast. What do you think? Both of us are in the same boat, man. It's got to be Wisconsin or nothing for me. I, I mean, it's going to be jumping in that place. They play jump around for a reason. So 730 game. Yep. Yep. It's going to be pumped. Yeah, I, I think Penn State's do. They usually have an ugly loss like this. And it's not like to say Wisconsin's some bad team. But, yeah, I'm going to keep it simple. Give me the dog. You know, they're at home. I, I think they're going to pull it out. I agree. Give me Wisconsin, man. I like what I've seen from their quarterback, too, in the last few yeah. weeks. Their offenses look decent. Yeah, and they've, they've won, won three, me money the past two weeks. <laughs> won three games in a row. They've looked good. Um, at home in a big game. Yeah, I'm going with the points and probably sprinkle money line Wisconsin. Yep. Next, we got LSU going to Texas A&M. And I tried to fade this LSU team last week with Arkansas. We both did. And I mm -hmm. felt right on my face. And I felt like an mm -hmm. idiot after. I'm like, what, what in the trap line was that? So... In this game, we got Texas A&M, the minus two and a half point favorite at home. What do you think? Tough game. I think that honestly, dude, looking back on LSU's year, how did they lose to USC? That's what I how mean. like it makes no sense. How did they almost lose to South Carolina? Like it's a totally different team at this point, too. Um, I I'm one of the few people that think Kyle Field is extremely overrated. I don't think it's one of the hardest places in the country to play, like people make it out to be. Sure, it's going to be up there within top tens and stuff like that, but I'm it, it's usually one, two, or three every single time a list comes out. I think it's extremely overrated. Um, Ness Meyer's a dog, um, but it's tough though, man, because I love you know me. I love freaking A and M's coach. Yeah, Mike Elko is a great coach. Yeah, defensive mind is just it's excellent. A, it's a hard game to call. I think the the spread is right on the money um, where it should be. I think yeah. it should be favored by about two points, two and a half points, being there at home. Yeah. Uh, but at the end of the day, for me, it's, yeah, the home field advantage, like you said, but I just don't trust Connor Wiegman still. Like, I, I would think I would trust Nussmeyer over him. Okay. Um, no hate. It's I, tough. I feel it. It's a tough I, game. I, I'm I was, probably going to go with a and I'll be opposite just to, for fun. Yeah, I, I, it's a tough game. I don't even know if I'm betting this one either. I'm so not. many games. I don't think yeah. I'm going to either. I'll sit this one out, but I would lean LSU to still get it done. They've had a tough a tough schedule, though, um, as of late, beating Miss, Old Miss at home and then Arkansas. They could be gassed out, but – yeah, this is, this is tough, man, because they got Alabama at home next weekend. God, yeah, now that I'm looking at that, maybe it is Texas A&M. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, I think now that I'm looking at that, the schedule look ahead for Alabama, yeah, I would lean Texas A&M now. I'm going to switch it as soon as I was just talking LSU. Yeah, I'm going to lean L or Texas A&M. There's two more games I love on this slate. We'll talk about a few more here. We got uh, – we'll talk – you want to talk about Auburn going to Kentucky? No. No, I'm good. skip that one. Let's talk about this one. Let's talk about Kansas going into Kansas State. We got it's Kansas State as the minus 10-point favorite here. What you think? Kansas State to roll as per usual. I picked yeah, them I last – 
I picked them last week, dude. There's no way you anybody can convince me to take Kansas. I, I banned them earlier in the year. They're two and five. They're one of the worst freaking power five teams. They're terrible. Yeah, just I, can't, I don't. Terrible. I don't. I don't see how you can trust them either. Um, they could cover this number. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's a rivalry game at the end of the day. Ten points in a rivalry game is, you know, at K State though. Keep that in mind. I know, but K State's had, you know, a couple. They've had their spells too. Yeah, a couple road that. games back to back. Um, yeah, I would, st- I would still lean Kansas State, but I do think there could be a potential backdoor. Maybe Kansas pulls off some wild shit. I don't know if I'll bet this game. I hear you, um, but I do think ultimately Kansas State is the better team for sure. Kansas has been bad this year, offense and defense, really. Yeah, defensively for sure. I'll say uh, <clears throat> I'll say this much confidently that my parlay piece of the week, Kansas State, minus six and a half, it's 184. Uh, I don't think – did you want to go with VT? Is that who you're picking? Or have you seen anything else that you like more? Do you like Wisconsin to cover better? Or? <sighs> nah. Because um... this is a chalk lay, so – Something to keep in mind. Yeah, well, I'll buy VT down to six and a half or seven. We'll do that. All right. So, so I, funny enough, I already have it pulled. Uh, VT six and a half. K State six and a half. Uh, that's going to come out to be a plus 140 lay. There you go. Plus money. I hope they freaking hit one. Oh, it's been me that's been losing the freaking legs it's for okay. us. It's okay. It's okay. It is what it is. We lose as a team. So, Amen. Um, Texas, though, golly, that was rough. Um, any more games on this freaking slate? Cincinnati at Colorado. Cincinnati yeah. at Colorado. Yeah, that's the one. We're in. Uh, that's it's cool. a five and a half point spread for Colorado. Late night game. What do you think? I like Cincy as a dog. They are extremely well at controlling the line of scrimmage. Um, as long as they don't get blown up in the past game, I think they'll be fine in this game. Give me Cincy. Keep it simple. I'm, I like. I'm with you. Uh, I'm thinking the same thing. I think everybody's going to see this game too late night. Take Colorado the freaking square bet of the night. Yep. Deion Sanders, you know, everyone's going to be at the game. Yada, yada, a bunch of stars. Yeah, I think uh, Cincinnati's looked good in the past few weeks, and I tried fading oh, yeah. their UCF, and that they burned me. Blew uh, up. They, beat, they beat Arizona State too last week. Yeah, I got to go. I got to go with uh, Cincy with the points, dude, for sure. Plus money too. Probably yep. almost plus 200. Yeah, I would lean the same way. All right. All right, y'all. That is uh, all for the show. Anything else you want to say before we get out of here, BK, besides the Yankees? Uh, the Yankees. Well, first, I was going to say, you know, to follow the socials, you asshole. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Follow all for the sure. socials, you know. Coach underscore BK picks. Game Change Hub. Make sure you're following and subscribing to the uh, – Game Change Hub's Instagram and YouTube, respectfully, where we're on now. That's where um, we're at now. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all follow that. Follow yeah. me on IG as well at Rico's Locks. If y'all want to get in the Discord, DM me on there. Yes, That's sir. Whatever way you can. Um, and we'll be back next week. Cal, appreciate you as always. Yes, sir. Good, I feel like it was a good show. Let's have a good week this week. I'm ready to bounce the fuck back because I'm pissed. Um, go Yankees. Yeah. No, I can't say that. There you y'all go. Have, y'all have a good week. <laughs> Thanks for tuning Peace. in. We'll be back next week. All right. Yeah, right. motherfucker. <laughs> for real. First and Locks. Now on the Game Change Hub YouTube channel and all audio platforms. Subscribe and hit that bell.